There were three battles between the years 1679 and 1680 between the Presbyterian Covenanters and the king's troops, the king having forced an Episcopalian interpretation of religion upon Scotland, whereby the church was ruled by bishops, and he, the king, was head of the church. The Covenanters believed that only God could be head of the church. By far the largest of these battles was the Battle of Bothwell Brig that took place on 22nd of June, 1679. Here, the Covenanters, nominally led by Robert Hamilton of Preston, were on one side of the Clyde, whilst the King's troops, led by the Duke of Monmouth, although Claverhouse was present at his bloody clavers as the Covenanters knew him. For some time, the Covenanters managed to prevent the King's troops from crossing the river, having a cannon which they used very effectively. But then they ran out of powder, at which point the King's troops crossed, and it became a rout. The Covenanters had around 6,000 troops, whereas the Duke of Monmouth had 5,000, a professional army. The Covenanters fought bravely, but they had an ineffective leader in Robert Hamilton, and in addition they had a number of religious disagreements. Surprisingly few were killed in the battle itself, but a number were killed during the rout. Those who were taken prisoner were taken to Greyfriars Church in Edinburgh, where they were kept under guard in the churchyard. Many were then sent to the colonies as convicts. An example of two that were killed in the rout, or as a result of the rout, were those of Mary Ray and Robert Lambie, whose graves are present at Bells Hill. The Battle Drum Clock took place on June the 1st. This was a covenant of victory and gave them great confidence. A number of covenanters had been attending a conventicle, a prayer meeting, at Loudon Hill, when the dragoons, under, blood, under bloody clavers, Claver House, found them. They lined up on Drum Clog Moor, and the battle took place, had great bravery on behalf of the covenanters, and they used the wet conditions, the boggy mire, to surprise the troops, and clavers left, losing something like 40 men. After the defeat at Bothwell Brig, a group continued, mainly under the influence of the Reverend Richard Cameron. However, on the 22nd July 1680, they were surprised at Aird's Moss, with 120 dragoons took on roughly 60 Covenanters. 26 of the King's troops were killed, and 9 of the Covenanters, including Richard Cameron and his brother. The rest mainly managed to escape across the moors. These so-called killing times didn't cease until James VII of Scotland was replaced by William and Mary. These monarchs pardoned the Cameronians and the other Covenanters, and the Cameronians for many years became part of the British army.